Ragdoll Cat vs. Persian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Ragdolls stand out for their large size, semi-long coat in a pointed pattern, and sparkling blue eyes. They are among the largest of the domesticated cats, with some males weighing at 20 pounds or more. A ragdoll has a light-colored body with a darker face, legs, tail, and ears. He comes in three patterns, midded and bicolor, both of which have white and color point, which has no white. Ragdolls don't reach their full size and coat development until they are three to four years old. The Cat Fanciers Association Breed Standard says the ragdoll should have a large, broad head and a modified wedge shape. All sides of the head should be of equal length and the muzzle should be gently rounded. The eyes are described as vivid blue ovals. medium size ears have rounded tips and tilt forward. Supporting the head is a heavy, strong neck, which segues into a large and long body that is broad, solid, and heavy boned. The heavy bone legs are moderately long, with the hind legs longer than the front legs. Large round paws are tufted with fur, and the long tail looks like a waving plume. The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kavi. A Persian's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Persian's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. They often learn to come when called or to retrieve toys that are thrown for them. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like, ragdolls learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. In a small, sweet voice, they remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. You will find a ragdoll on your sofa or bed, but generally not much higher than that. He prefers to stay on the same level with his people rather than the highest point in a room. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Persian is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. A ragdoll's moderately long fur has a little undercoat, which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, ragdolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Note that seasonal changes, as well as hormonal fluctuations in unaltered cats, can affect the length of the coat. The coat will be at its peak in winter. Ragdolls that have been spayed or neutered will usually have a lush coat year-round because they lack the hormonal fluctuations that occur in unaltered cats. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe a ragdoll as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. 
If his coat feels greasy or his fur looks stringy, he needs a bath. Ragdolls usually go through several growth spurts as they mature. These can continue off and on until the cat is 4 years old. Don't be deceived by the pad of fat on the belly, which is a trait of the breed. Until you are sure they have reached their mature size, make sure they always have plenty of food available to fuel their growth. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. Speaking of litter boxes, a large cat like the ragdoll needs a box that is supersized to ensure that he has plenty of room to turn around and squat. It's a good idea to keep the ragdoll and Persian as indoor-only cats to protect them from attacks by dogs or coyotes, diseases spread by other cats, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Ragdolls who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The laid-back ragdoll is perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. Always supervise young children to make sure they don't torment the cat. And with a cat this size, it's essential to teach children how to support the cat, with one arm beneath the front legs and one beneath the hind legs. Never hold a ragdoll with the hind end hanging down. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. Persians aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.